other than our very own Bishop James Cooper. Coming in the name of Jesus. Come on and receive ye him in Jesus name. Well put your hand together for Jesus on this morning. Oh, give him a praise, give him a praise, give him a praise on this morning. He worthy of the praise on this morning. Praise God for what he already done in the house on this morning. Glory to God. Come on, put your hand together like you love to be in the house of the Lord on this morning. Put your hand together that the Lord did something for you on last night. Oh, praise his holy name. Give him glory, give him praise on today. Glory to God. He's worthy of the praise and the glory on this morning. Praise God. We bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God because he's so worthy of the praise. Oh, turn that down for a little bit, Elder. Oh, God, we worthy of the praise and the glory this morning. Praise God what God is doing in his house. Praise God. We exalt his name on this morning. Praise God. Can you put your hand together one more time for the Lord? Praise God. Give Jesus Christ a hand clap of praise because he's worthy. Oh, I say he worthy. I say the Lord is worthy. I say he's worthy to be praised on this morning. Glory to God. After all that he's done for us, praise God. He deserves a praise. Glory to God. He's taught you on your way this morning. You ought to tell him thank you. Praise God. He was the reason. He the cause that you rose this morning. Praise God. He was the cause. You have a roof over your head. He was the cause that you have your right mind this morning. He was the cause, oh God, that you have transportation. He was the cause of all these things. You ought to praise the Lord this morning. You ought to pray the Lord, because it had not been for the Lord. Pray God, where will we be today? But we thank the Lord for his goodness and mercy and his kindness and all that he's done for me. How many glad to be in the house of the Lord on this morning? Glory to God. Just glad to be in the house of the Lord. Uh, oh, that's a poor glad. That's a poor glad. That's a poor glad there. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's a poor glad. Uh, I said, how many glad to be in the house of the Lord on this morning? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we believe in uplifting the name of Jesus. Praise God because he's worthy of the praise. Praise God. You can't do this by yourself. You take the Lord. Just by take the Lord. Praise God. With the power of God that woke us up and stole us on our way. With the power of God that kept us last night. Praise God. I was uh, just thinking about yesterday when we was descending, coming in, and, and I was looking at the clouds. Praise God. And I saw a big cloud, and I saw a little cloud, and, and I saw those clouds there. I said, look at those clouds hanging from nothing. Praise God. Hallelujah. What a God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Praise God. And we go through the cloud. It just shake us. But the clouds still remain in its place. Praise God. Tell somebody, look at what the Lord can do. Praise God. Cloud that's hanging in the sky, hanging from nothing. That's the kind of God we serve. Praise God. So that's why I come to tell you this morning, God deserve a praise. Praise God. Because there, he, he put the stars in the sky. Praise God. Through them there. And they're hanging there from nothing. Praise God. Oh my God. He called the sun to shine and, and it's hanging there from nothing. Praise God. The moon is there. It's hanging there for nothing. Praise God. So God deserve a praise this morning. He, oh, you, he gave you light this morning and you had to do anything this morning but wake up praise God and he was there let the blood run warm in your vein praise God call you to breathe the air that you didn't have to pay for that was God all by himself praise God hallelujah you ought to praise God this morning if you ain't on infrared or you ain't on the machine this morning you ought to give God some praise if you're on the machine this morning you ought to tell God thank you Christ. I know you're going to bring me off the machine but you got to give God all the praise and glory this morning because he's worthy of the praise. Uh, I found out if the, the worst thing that we could be is be ungrateful to what God is doing. Be ungrateful for what God is doing. Praise God. We don't got so much now so we don't know how to appreciate God no more. I'm doing good now. I don't need to do that no more. I did that when I was in bad shape. When I was in bad health, I did that then. Pray God. I did that when I had no job. I did that then. But now, pray God, it's the time to do it when you don't have one. Pray God, it's the time to do it. Pray God, tell you every time to praise him. And give him all you got. Praise God. Hallelujah. Give him all you got. Praise God. Hallelujah. This is how we end. We're in the last, uh, the last days. We ain't got no time to waste. 
Praise God. We ain't got no time to waste. We got to give God all that belong unto him on today. Praise God. So we're so thankful. Praise God. I want to give honor this morning to our Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. Give God some praise. Uh, I said to Jesus. I said to Jesus. I said to Jesus. I didn't say to Muhammad. I didn't say to, come on here. I didn't say to Buddha. I said to Jesus on this morning. Praise God. Hallelujah. We thank God. We thank God for what he's doing. Praise God. I want to thank God for Pastor Cooper this morning. Praise God. Thank God for her. Praise God. I want to thank God for the elder and the evangelist in this house. I want to thank God for you. Look at yourself and say, I want to thank God for you being in the house of the Lord this morning. Praise God. Thank God for you and you for being in the house of the Lord on this morning. I certainly want to thank God for our pastor, Hermer and Mary Jr., and Lady Danielle on this morning, and to all the four gospel ministers and pastors, pray God. We thank God for you all standing preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ on this morning. We give God praise and glory. We honor him this morning, praise God. We honor him this morning, praise God, for his goodness and mercy and his kindness. We just honor the Lord. We just honor the Lord this morning, praise God. I want to say to you this morning, pray God, pray God, look at somebody and say, this is the best place you can be this morning. In the house of the Lord. Come on, come on, tell somebody, this is the best place you can be this morning. This is where life begins with Jesus Christ. Without Christ, there is no life. Pray God, without Christ, you're just existing. You're just beating the wind without Christ. But with Christ, you have opportunity, you have life. Pray God. We thank God this morning for you on today. Praise God. I want to get into the word on this morning. Pray God. Get into the word of God on this morning. Praise God. What God is has given me and laid on my heart to share on this morning. Praise God. If you'll turn with me this morning to First Corinthians 11 chapter, praise God. We we'll started reading there from 17 down to 34 this morning in your hearing. If you have your Bible, would you stand to your feet with us? And we hear what the Word of God is saying unto us on this morning. First Corinthians chapter number 11. Verse 17 to 34 on this morning. Pray God. Listen to what the word of God has to say on this morning. Praise God. Now in this that I declare unto you, I praise you not, that ye come together, not for the better, but for the worse. For first of all, when you come together in the church, I hear there be divisions among you, and I partly believe it. For there must be also heresies among you, that they which are proved may be made manifest among you. Uh -huh. When you come together, therefore, into one place, uh -huh. this is not to eat the Lord's Supper. Praise God. For in eating, everyone take it before other his own supper. And one is hungry, and another is drunken. What have ye not houses to eat and to drink in? Or despise ye the church of God, and shame them that have not? What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I praise you not. For I have received of the Lord uh -huh. that which also I delivered unto you. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. It's verse 24. 34. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Mm -hmm. After the same manner also, he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death 
till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when ye come together to eat, tarry one for another. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home, that ye come not together unto condemnation. And the rest I will set in order when I come. Before you sit down, Father, we thank you this morning for your word. We pray now, God, that your word will go out and touch some heart, change some minds, and deliver your people from their sins. Let somebody confess you as Lord Jesus in their lives today. Father, we ask you now, Father God, to, as I stand behind this sacred place this morning, this sacred podium, God, Father, that you will have that way as I decrease, God, and you move by your power and your spirit, God. I ask you now, Father, to preach me in the name of Jesus, and we give you all the praise and glory. Let somebody say amen, amen, as you sit down and say unto one another, an unworthy communion. Praise God. You can be seated. Unworthy communion. Praise God. We found him. Now Paul is dealing with the first Corinthian church. He did with them about their conduct. In other words, in this passage, we'll find that Paul sharply rebuked them for much disorderly and the partaking of the Lord's Supper. Praise God. Mm -hmm. In other words, he come to tell them that he heard uh, how they were handling themselves in the institution, what it was meant for. They didn't do it the way it should be done. So he wrote a letter to them, confirming to them uh, how it should be be done praise God in other words he tip with them about how they were taking communion the, the, the intents of it uh, were to be for to bear and promote you spiritually uh, but they took it and turned it to the worst praise God uh, and any time you don't do things according to the word of God uh, you turn it to the worst uh, tell you you do it like the words say do. Uh, you got to do it like the Bible say do. Uh, if you change it, you're doing it for the worst. Uh, and at that, it won't benefit you because you're not doing it according to the word of God. Uh, in other words, we're talking about Jesus Christ here. Uh, he's talking about he will wound it, and tr wound it for our transgression. Uh, he will wound it for our iniquities. That's just tied with our pieces upon him. Uh, and with his strike, we are healed. We're talking about the and the bruder and the blood of Jesus Christ here. So he's saying that now uh, I hear say, y'all got hear say in the midst of you. Uh, you have strife in the midst of you. Uh, your conduct, come on, you slander one another. There's friction, uh huh. There's schism in the midst of you and the schematic at the table. Uh, come on, tell somebody, this is not the way it should be done. Uh, and Paul come to correct them, pray God, because a dangerous thing here to do to, uh, the communion without recognizing why you're doing it. Uh, in other words, you can't just do it because you want to do it. Uh, pray God, you recognize in the body and birth of Jesus Christ. Uh, so in other words, this is very secret. Uh, uh -huh. You don't come off no drunk uh -huh, and, and come and take communion. Uh -huh. You don't do it Saturday night all night and then come and take communion. Uh -huh. We're talking about Jesus here. Uh -huh. Just like this is very sacred now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You don't live like you in the kind of way and then come and take communion. Uh -huh. That's not the way it should be done. Uh -huh. It is to honor God. Uh -huh. Praise God when you do what the Bible say do. Uh -huh. Tell us you 
you to honor God. You are to honor God. Uh, praise God. And in the word, he was telling them, uh, some of y'all come to the table. Y'all men come with your hats on your head, uh, with your head covered. Uh, oh, my God. And then the women come with the head uncovered. Uh, he said, now you are dishonoring this, the Lord's Supper. Uh, you're dishonoring the communion. Uh, you are disorderly uh, coming in uh, and take communion in that way. Uh, and go and tell us about how it will happen to us uh, if we continue doing that. Uh, in other words, uh, you can't take that good for you and turn it to evil. It won't benefit you. Uh, I come to tell you, Paul said here, I hear uh, the gossip. Uh -huh. I hear what you're doing. Uh -huh. And it doesn't sound good. Uh, in other words, I partly believe what I hear. Praise God. I see your conduct. In other words, uh, the church ought to have a conduct that represents Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, tell you the brother, represent Christ. Uh, you ought to live like the word said live. Uh, in other words, I can't tell you about Jesus if I'm not living like Jesus. Uh, I gotta tell you, oh my God, my life is a testimony of what I live. Uh, not the words come out of my mouth, uh, because I can say anything out of my mouth, uh, but it's my life that tells you who I really am, uh, what my heart is really is, uh, what I live like is on the inside. Uh, I got Christ now that I represent. Uh, so now, uh, I come and tell you, uh, it's your life uh, that do the talking. It's your life in the greatest testimony. I don't care where you are, uh, where you shopping or at home or at your job. Uh, your life is the testimony. Oh my gosh, you don't open your mouth. Uh, tell you that your life is your testimony. My God, I can't tell, no, I can't get a witness this morning. But that's all right. Uh, I brought my amen before I got here. But I come to tell you this morning, uh, Paul is saying, that's not right. Uh, my God, uh, to take communion this way. Uh, oh, it's not right to take communion with your head covered. Uh, it's not right to take communion with your head uncovered. Uh, come on here, somebody. He's talking to the women now. The women should have their head covered. Uh, oh, my God. Because uh, she's sick. We are in God now. And then he's saying here now, my God, here come the men. Uh, they gather around the table with the head covered. Oh my God, it's unworthy. You're not representing, you're dishonoring God when you do this. After all the suffering and the beauty and the beating and the spilt blood that come out of his body, but now that's all you think about it now is to come to the table disorderly conduct. Oh, kill somebody. It's too sacred. You don't do that. Oh, it's too sacred. You don't do that. That's not how we do it. That's not how we talk to do it. Work that way uh, because it's not honoring God. Uh, with everything we do, we can honor the Lord. Uh, tell your neighbor, I can honor the Lord. Uh, what you see me doing, I'm honoring the Lord. Uh, take a million, I'm honoring the Lord. Oh my God, just living the life, I'm taking honor the Lord. Uh, come on, somebody. Say, so no matter what, I'm honoring the Lord. Uh huh, uh huh. Call you see me in the grocery store. I'm on the Lord. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Because you see me sitting out eating breakfast, I'm still on the Lord. Mm -hmm. Say, so no matter where you see me at, neighbor, I'm on the Lord. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to talk about Jesus? Uh, yeah, we can do that too. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Praise God. Uh, tell you, neighbor, I'm going to talk about Jesus because that's what my life is. Uh-huh, uh uh-huh. So I can't have no slander. Uh, I can't have no schism. Mm -hmm. uh, I cannot have no cause and fiction uh, because this is not God. Uh-huh. Uh the Corinth church now has got totally out of order when it come down to communion. Uh, praise God. They didn't know how sacred did it with the world. Uh, praise God. And, and so they were coming in the house of God and and they were gathering together, mm -hmm. and they were bringing in food. That's like they were at home. Uh, this is not a home gathering. Uh, here, come on here. This is a place where we come together and honor God. Uh, my God. Uh, and he got on them because some of the men had brought food in. Uh, and then the poor over there, they were shaming the poor. Uh, and they were drunken in the midst of a ceremonial service. Uh, he come to deal with that. Because uh, that's not on God. Uh, tell you, there was something just don't go in the house of God. Uh, you got to recognize uh, the house of God has order. Oh my God, when you take the order out, uh, you take out the Lord. Uh, so I come to tell you, uh, I don't care who you are. You got to keep order in the house of God. Uh, you can't let folks run you. Uh, oh, come on here.
you. Uh, you got to do what God called you to do. Uh, my God, you got to have a backbone to stand uh, and stand on the word of God. Uh, tell your neighbor, I'm not scared. Uh, I'll stand on the word of God. Uh, I'm doing what the word said do. Uh, my God, I'm not waving and shaking. And I'm not nervous. Uh, I'm not nervous uh, because of this. Uh, I know what I'm called to do. Uh, I got to keep this. I got to keep order. I got to keep order in the house of God. Uh, oh, come on, somebody. Got to keep order in the house of God. That's what God house is. God house is a house of order. Uh, house of order. Uh, now, now, now. Folks, take things for granted. Hmm. Just another second Sunday of communion. Mm-hmm. That's, that's all. Just another second Sunday of communion. Mm-hmm. Just come in and just uh, take the cup and, and drink it. And, and, and just take the cup and drink it. Uh-huh. And, 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 and I have communion. But you're forgetting the reason. The reason. Mm-hmm. You forget how sacred this is. Mm-hmm. You forget this come to, to, to promote your interest in Christ. Oh God, uh, come on here to make you better, not worse. Uh, my God, but when you take out your oil, you make what God has called oily, disorderly. You take it down what's right. Pray God to satisfy your lust. Pray God. And that's what they were doing. They have now come in and put they they taken away the spiritual. But it was now made worse. They gathered together not for the better but for the worse. In other words now they come to satisfy the lust now. The desires here. That's what they come to do uh, and so because uh, they were satisfying their lusts uh, and their desires uh, it caused this order to come in the midst uh, it caused arguments uh, it caused spite uh, it caused schism uh, tell your neighbor uh, you can't do it your way in the house of God uh, God got a way uh, and it's mighty sweet uh, it's according to the word of God uh, you got to treasure the things of God come on somebody Say, neighbor, these things belong to the Lord. You can treasure these things. My God, in other words, can be trusted to do what's right with the things of God. Can be trusted to do what's right when it comes to communion. It's all about having a backbone and standing up and taking order. What God said do. Say, neighbor, I'm going to do what the Lord said do. I'm going to do what it's expected of me to do uh, because it's right to do right. Uh, my God, uh, sometimes you got to understand uh, that God is calling us to go higher. Uh, and when you call you to go higher, responsibility is greater. Uh, in other words, uh, you can't come be controlled now uh, by folks. Uh, you got to understand uh, you are the one now uh, that they're looking for uh, for direction. Uh, and you got to be able to stand uh, and care folks in the right direction. Uh, you got to be able now to tell them uh, this is not the way you take communion uh, this is not the way uh, so in other words uh, Paul told them in the word uh, he said now let every man uh, examine himself uh, you examine yourself uh, I don't know what you did last night uh, I don't know what you did yesterday uh, but you come to the table uh, but you examine yourself uh, you know what you're right or not uh, you know what you told a lie or not uh, you know what you were drunk or not uh, you know what you were doing uh, so you examine yourself. Uh, you look at yourself, uh, and you go to God uh, and ask God uh, to forgive you of all. Uh huh. Uh-huh. You gotta go to God. You gotta go to God. You gotta go to God. Uh, uh, it doesn't matter how much I pray, uh, but you gotta examine yourself. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Of course we're gonna pray, uh, but you gotta. Ex- the Bible says that every man. Can somebody say that again? Let every man examine himself. Uh, uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Say, check out your own self. You're looking at me at the table because I'm sitting beside you. Looking at me funny. But check out you. Uh-huh. My God. You can't have no schism at the table. Excuse me at the table. After why? Because schism me. Everybody now, uh, come on, tell your neighbor, this is not how you do it, this is not how you do it. Uh, 
uh-huh, it hits his, uh-huh, it quarrels, uh-huh, it's not supposed to be. It's not supposed to be. For I heard. Somebody say I heard. <laughs> that y'all were not doing what's right. Huh? The pastor heard what Caribbean was doing. Wasn't right. He said, no. He said, he said, now in this that I declare unto you, I pray you not that you come together not for the better, but for the worse. This is not to make it worse. This is not to make it worse. You know what I found out? That, that, that if we just come and just jump in this because it's said a good ideal, the Bible tells us that some are dead. And some are sickly because they are dishonoring this institution. They're dishonoring the, 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 the communion that's set before you. So now the damage is that he say he says that some are dead. And some are sickly. You see, some folk can't never get well. One thing, then the next thing, and then the next thing, then you get that done, then something else. You get that done, because you, you didn't take time to examine yourself. And come to ask God. Yeah, now, 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 he will forgive you. He's a forgiving God. But we had those of coming so 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 we 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 just come up now and just do it because everybody should do it. Huh? Huh? Pop the juice. Eat the crackle. But this is a reputation of Jesus Christ's body and blood. When it prayed over it returned it could become supernatural now. This is not the wine you get out in the store. This is not an ABC wine. This is sacred. We have to treat it sacredly. We just can't come now because we, we just what we do on second Sunday. The full gospel organization, that's what we do on second Sunday. But we can just be so common with it that this is what we do. We got to understand the importance of this institution and what it represents. You got to understand that you, the responsibility relies on you at the communion table. It relies on you. So he said, for first of all, but first of all, mm -hmm, when you come together in the church, that's the second place right by itself. The church. The church. I hear that, that there will be, that, that there will be the, uh, division among you, and I partly believe it. There was got to be, when you partly believe something, there got to be some evidence. You don't sing something somewhere. Uh -huh. He said, I partly believe that. Huh? Have you ever seen something you partly? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, okay. Now I see now. I, I partly believe this now. Mm-hmm. I partly believe this. He did him with this, in this letter. Now, I, I, yeah, yeah, I partly believe this now. Mm-hmm. For there must be also heresies among you that they which are proven may be may manifest among you. And when you come together, therefore, into one place, this is not to eat the Lord's Supper. You got to understand. 
There's some things he said before. The approval may be made among you. Manifest among you. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, see, folks get mad when you try to correct them. They, they, they don't want to be corrected. But correction saves your life. Huh? Huh? Correction will save. Listen, you don't know what you think you know. And you don't know everything. But when you get correction, you better take it. It ain't just coming from a man. It's coming from God. Paul walked in and so he said, but I, I, I partly believe what I hear. But there was an evidence there. Hmm. But he said in 21, for, for in eating every one, take it before others. His own supper. You don't bring your own doggy bag. And one is hungry and another is drunken. This is sacred. It is prepared like it is now. Praise God. But look what Paul had to deal with. He said here, What have you not? What have you not housed it to eat, to drink in, or despise ye the church of God, and shame them that have not? What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this, or I praise you not? No, 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 no. no. There's an order. There's an order. Everything that's done in the house of God, everything done concerning God, is done by order. Everything. And order is, 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 is authority that God had gave one to, 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 to delegate among the saints. That's why, that's why when all the gold house, it, go, it, it goes from the head down and remains there to the end. Call it keep correction in the house of God. Order. If you don't have no order, you got a mess. Everybody just doing their own thing. Uh huh. Everybody just doing, well, I thought this and I, no, no, that's not order. What sin like liberty is not liberty. When it comes to the things of God, Paul is setting this institution in order. He said here in the 23rd verse, he said, Now, for I have received of the Lord that which also I deliver unto you. What I told you and where I got this from. That the Lord Jesus, the same night as which he was betrayed, it took. Uh huh. In other words, Paul was saying, I, 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 I want to tell you how I came about this knowledge. This knowledge I'm giving you, I came by. I was not among the apostles when it was done, but I came by the knowledge of Jesus Christ. I got the revelation from Christ. So I did, I'm delivered unto you how it's supposed to be done. And when he has given thanks, he break it and said, take, eat. This is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. You do this in remembrance of the broken body and the blood and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. You do this as often as you can. This is how important it is because it's benefiting you spiritually. It is good for your spiritual growth, your strength, and your spiritual walk with God to take part of Jesus Christ's body, which represents his body. Praise God. That's why it's important that we do this and do it the right way. Say, do it the right way. Uh huh. And after, after, that, after that same manner, also he took the cup 
and we have supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament of my blood. This do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. In the remembrance of me. That's what Jesus was saying here. You do this. This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do you as often as you drink it in remembrance of in remembrance of me. In remembrance of me. You see, as you remember what you're doing it for, you keep it serious. You keep you keep it serious. You 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 you, you come, come on, hey, come on, come on, come on. I, I, this is very I can't I just can't do it. This is very sacred here. I know why I'm doing this. This is sacred here. When I sit down to this table, I know this is sacred. I'm not doing this just to be doing it. Hmm. I'm not taking it because someone is taking it. I'm taking it because how sacred this is. We take the partaker of the blood and the body. When you sit down to the table, you ought to see the bruise and the cross. See him hanging on the cross. What he had gone through for you. If that don't make it sacred to you, nothing else will. When you come to this table, you ought to see the Jesus Christ uh, punishment for your sin. You ought to see what he went through for you and I. That, that'll make it sacred all by itself. Hmm. Yeah. Make it sacred. I see him hanging on that tree. I see his body beat me beyond recognition. I see this throne pushed upon his head, the crown pushed upon his head. I see the blood running down his face. Hmm. It's ain't no time for conversation now. I, I, I'm looking at Jesus right now. I ain't got time now. They, they, they have no schism right now. I, I, I see Jesus now. Hmm. I, now, 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 I recognize what he went through for me now. Hmm. He said, for as often as you eat this bread, which is the body of Jesus Christ. That's not that's the body. And drink this cup, test my that's the blood. Hmm. This, 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 this cup right here today, and this cracker, this is representing the body of Jesus Christ. That juice in that cup, it represents the blood of Jesus Christ. You do, you do show the Lord death till he come. Just by looking, I was looking at. Just by sitting at the table, I'm looking at. I'm looking at the cross. Mm, looking at the cross. Mm. This mean more than tearing this cup open, tearing this cup open and drinking it. Unworthy. Because of what I have in my mind, what I can see in my mind, and what I can imagine took place, it make it worthy for me to sit here. And drop my head down and tell the Lord, thank you. God, thank you for another Sunday. I can take part in what represents your body. Thank you. I can take part in what represents your blood. Thank you, Lord. That you make me worthy to do this. Hmm. This is not just a second Sunday to me. This is a special occasion. For we commune the body of Christ. But let every man examine himself. Look in the wars, look at war, look in the wars. 
Let me finish reading that 27 verse. Therefore, whatsoever shall eat this bread. Whatsoever shall eat this bread. Uh huh. And drink this cup of the Lord. You see what it's saying, the Lord? The blood. And blood of the Lord. In other words, the disciples, when Jesus told them to come and eat my flesh and drink my blood, they got up and walked away. What was meant for the better for them, they turned it to the worse. They walked away from Jesus. They didn't recognize he was partaker of Christ. They didn't recognize he become a part of Christ. But they walked away from a sacred time. But let a man examine himself. So they, this is when you look into war, look at towards yourself. You, you, you don't look across the aisle. You look across the aisle at somebody else now. Mm -mm, mm -mm. The same time now to look at somebody else. This is where you look inward at yourself. Mm -hmm. And so let him eat of that bread. And drink of that cup. After you done looked at yourself and after you done re 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 repented uh, 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 omission and commission, uh huh, make yourself worthy because I, I, I want to do what's right before here, but this is very important here. I don't want to take this crap and this, drink this cup here unless I have gone before God. Huh? Gone before God. Huh? You know, you got folks taking communion, left home with a big argument. Come on now. Coming down the road, fussing and fighting. And walk in the church with a smile on the face. And walk to the communion table. And take communion. That's unworthy. That's unworthy. That's dangerous. That's, right. That's dangerous. You are a dangerous thing. Huh? When you know that you have committed sin. When you know that you have done this. And you have no, no more fear to walk up and steal, take that cracker and that cup and turn to your head. That you have lost the fear of God. And I go a little bit further than that. I'm saying now, you saying, you don't, you don't even believe it. No, you don't even believe the word. To do that, you don't even believe the word of God. You don't have a relationship with God to do such things as that. Praise God. Well, is the fear for Paul is putting this, this letter of kindness in order. Because we're doing unworthy stuff in the house of God. This is unworthy. This is sacred. For he that eat it and drink, unworthy, eat it and drink it, damnation to himself. But verse 29 say, For he that eat it and drink it, unworthy, eat it and drink it, damnation to himself. You hear what he said? Y'all you, hear, hear what he said? He said to, no, not, not to my brother, not to my sister, but to himself. He didn't eat and drink unworthy. The damnation to himself. Not discerning the Lord's body. Not recognizing the body of Christ. Not recognizing what it really means, the significance of it, what you're doing. That's what a lot of people are doing now is drinking it because they don't recognize how serious this is. And they don't recognize they're bringing damnation upon themselves.
in and out the doctor office all the time. Because this is going wrong. And this is going wrong. And this is going wrong. Because we have done communion unworthy. Hmm. You see, this, this word is right. And it means everything that it say. You can justify yourself all you want to. You cannot change this word. It is what it is. I don't care how much education you got, how much knowledge you got, what you think you know, you cannot change this. I read in another book that now I don't care. You better put that and come back to this Bible. Because the truth is in this Bible. And I said the proof is in the pudding. The proof is in this Bible right here. I don't care what nobody write and say to you, but the Bible is right and everybody else is wrong. It's right. It's right. It's right. It's right. Test my it's right. Huh? You don't you don't you don't you you, you have to discern the Lord's body. Recognize what's happening. Recognize where you are. Recognize what you're doing. What you're doing. Hmm? I'm not trying to tell you not to take communion. I'm trying to tell you oh, oh, the significance of it. And, and, and what you have to do. Examine yourself. To do it. Because there's a danger not to do it, it's to do it. So all you have to do is just pray. Ask God. Forgive me. Of all. My sins. Praise God. Some folks, well, I ain't going to take it no how. If you ain't living right, so what difference will it make? You have to understand that God is trying to get us prepared to go to heaven. This is not our home. We're just passing through here. This is temporary. I don't care. You better make up your mind. You got to live for Christ and do what it takes to live for Christ. Lay down this sin. Walk away from the sin. It's only going to destroy you. There ain't no life in sin. I don't care how much you think that you got, well, I got to do this and I got to do this. What the Bible tells us, uh, what good if a man gain the whole world and his soul be lost? I ain't got time for church. I got I to gotta, I go to work. When you go ahead on the work, your soul is more important. That's why I'm working. That's why I'm working. You can. You can go to church and work. You're talking about a retired man here for th th uh, 30 years that worked and in church every service. Huh? So you can't tell me, I got to go to work. I got to No, 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 no. I came to church and went to work. I went to work and came to church. I preach and go to work and go to church. Go, go, preach and go to work. So don't tell me. You can, you can, yeah, I did that testimony there. I, I, I don't want to hear that one. Huh? Say, say, neighbor, come on, something better than that. Huh? I'm a testimony. Huh? I'm a testimony. So don't tell me about, about how, how work you got to do. Huh? So many times that I came to work and had to go to work at 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh -huh. Huh? And work all night long to the next day. So, so, so don't, don't, don't try to use that. You listen, I, I know what it takes. It takes a made up mind to give this for Christ. Take a soul out to live for Christ. It takes you putting God first in your life. Because jobs come and go. But Jesus Christ is here forever. He was here in the beginning. He's going to be here in the end. So you better change them excuses. You better change them. 
Sit now. It'll cost you to burn. Oh, yeah. It'll cost you to burn. Uh, yes, it will. It'll cost you to burn. We need Christ more than we need anything. And without him, a job cannot do what Christ can do for you. We take God. And I'm sure this morning all over this sanctuary it, that God got to come first. Or else. Huh? And what your mom used to say, else. And when they say else, that means that was through. You make your own choice now. And your bed, you got to sleep in that one now. Because I told you do this or else. The effort of your bed been hard because you didn't want to listen. Your head was hard. There are people that got a way of doing things beyond God. I, I can make it. Oh, no, I can do this here and still serve the Lord. I can do this right here. And no, no, if you ain't got God first, you ain't doing it right. You don't serve. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You don't serve God from behind. You go after him. This is why the Bible tells us we ought to preach Christ. We got family members. We ought to preach Christ. Yeah. You can't get that job nowhere. You're going to sell yourself out. I think I heard it in Sunday school this morning. You're going to sell yourself out for something that's not, that, 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 that's not going to last. You're going to sell yourself out to something that's not going to last. What happened when the job gone? Give me Jesus. Come on, somebody. Help me find Jesus now. For he that eat it and drink it unworthy. Eat it and drink it, damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause, somebody said, for this cause, many weak, hmm, spiritual, weak, you're weak, don't have no more desires. I, 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 I don't, I don't. <laughs> I, I, I don't have, I, pray, I, I can pray, pray, I, I don't, we just prayed last night, uh, and, and now you got to pray a whole hour, you got to pray for a whole month, I just pray every night, uh, my God, I got things to do, weak! Seven o'clock, I get my nap. call you to discern the Lord's body now some is weak huh you don't have to press no more you, you, you folks now you got to put the chorus them to come to church got to press them to come to church call them as they come to church where have you been what's going on with you and they got all the excuses weak having a form of godliness denying the power they weak Weak. Uh huh. This, this, this is what's happening. That's why, that's why, that's why some of us now is in the shape we're in now. If our press is gone. If I make it there on the hour, that's all right. I can't press before that. I gotta get this last few minutes in and the clock boom and the clock boom and the clock boom and the clock boom. That's beating that clock. That clock be so glad when you leave home. Huh? Yeah. Snooze and snooze and snooze. Yeah. Weak and sickly. Yeah, yeah. Sickly. Yeah. Don't have no, I, I just don't, I just don't, I just don't. All we got a reason for everything when it comes to the spiritual things of God. It's a reason for everything. I'm just sickly in the spirit. Sickly in the spirit. Yeah. 
Y'all stay in the church all the time. All y'all do, eh? I tell you, y'all, 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 don't take all that much church to stay saved. I, I tell you what, how do you know? You not even how you tell me how much it takes. Huh? You gonna tell me? And you're weak and sick in the spirit, and you're gonna tell me that you oh no, the devil, you're the liar. Gonna accept that. They gonna accept that. Uh uh-uh. uh. They Paul said, "Who did hinder you? Huh? You did. You did run well. You ran well. But who hindered you? Huh? Nothing but the devil. That's all it is. Excuses come from the devil. That's all it come from." And the excuse you make, only work for you. Everybody's going on, but they want that way to work for you. Yeah. And you make enough of them, it make you feel good and comfortable where you are. Yeah. What you call weak and sick in the spirit. Because yeah, you have lost the desires for the press on in Christ. If we ain't got a press and a run in our church, when we gonna get it? Tell somebody, when are we gonna get it? Get it. If you ain't got it now, when are you going to get it? Time is running out. When are we going to get it? How long should I suffer with you? You ain't getting no younger. Time is running out and time don't wait for nobody. You better get it while it's going. So never make it stick. You better make it stick because listen, listen. Because it, 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 it don't. Everything you miss, you miss it. But you got to make it stick when you're there because time don't wait. And the Lord is soon to come. Yeah. There, there, there you go. There you go, Bishop. There you go, Bishop. Tell the Lord soon to come. Lord soon to come. How soon? We don't know. But we know he's coming. <laughs> Just look at him and say, I know, but we know he's coming. And tell him because the Bible tells me so. The Bible says in Matthew, the good one had known that the thief was coming. He could have prepared for he would have, he, 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 would, he would not have been, he would have been watching. Be prepared. He'd been watching. But he didn't know when he was coming. The same way the coming of the Son of Man, when he come, you worry about the world going to the end. What about your day being shown? Right. 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 Well, yeah. well, 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 the world ain't gonna, you might not be in the world end. You, you may not be here when the world end. Right. Your day might not let you last to the end of the world. Who knows the number of our days? That's why we don't have time to waste and go, come on here, because we don't know the number. We're here now, but tomorrow we don't know. Do you know folks drop a dead in the church? Yeah. We don't know. But we got to make sure that our soul is right with God. Out of all the getting, make sure your soul is right. Because you die before you get saved. You are lost for the liquor fire. And you cannot die and get saved. You got to do it now while the blood is running warm in your vein. While your flesh is in good sh- operating. You got to do it now while you're walking around in your flesh. Confess to the Lord Jesus. I'm a sinner. You know how I live. You know my life. Save me, Lord. Huh? Where do it come from? Not your mouth. Your heart. Because you said, believe in your heart. 
Believe it in your heart. And anytime you believe in your heart, you're going after it. Anything you believe in your heart, you're going after it. Because that's what the desire is in your heart. So the word says, for this cause, many are weak and sickly among you. You were praying, you were praying, you were praying, and 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 they ain't doing what's right. You got to do what's right. Pray for me, pray for me. Pray for you to do what? To live right or get right. But you just can't ask somebody to pray for you and you want to keep on doing your thing. God ain't going to answer that because you got to commit to Christ for yourself. This is the individual salvation walk. Every man got to work out his own soul salvation. Huh? Every man got to work this for himself. So now you got to get it for yourself. Huh? This battle, you got to fight for yourself. I can't take you to my arm and kill you and protect you. You got to fight. Huh? Huh? For if we would judge ourselves. Somebody, eh, eh, I, you, oh, you, judge, you judge me? The Bible says judge yourself. Judge yourself. Yeah. Judge yourself from right from wrong. Judge yourself. You judging me. No, you judge yourself. I don't tell you the truth. Now you judge yourself. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I, I tell you what's wrong. Now you judge yourself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We are chasing of the Lord. God is sending his word to chasing you. Of the, the Lord is chasing after you. He loves you. He loves you so much that he, oh my God, he keeps sending the word back to you over and over and over and over again. In the beginning, God loved his people so much that he had a, the, 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 uh, Noah to preach 120 years the same message because he loved them so much. And out of the 120 years sermon, only eight people got saved. And all the animals, oh, Miss Monkey, Mr. Monkey, Mr. Baboon, and Mr. Raccoon, and the Lion, and the Giraffe, so I'm going in, because I hear a word, I hear a word that man won't obey, so I'm going in the art. something the animal got a better discernment than man hmm? man just would not listen in the beginning man was born in sin shaped in a naked of sin and always how rebel against righteousness all we have. It's in the nature to rebel against righteousness. You tell them to go left. I, I, I know a shortcut. I'm going right. Yeah. I'm just not going to take correction. I know another way. But is there a one way? Tell your neighbor one way. And that's Jesus Christ and him that saved. There is no other way. It's through Jesus Christ that you can come to Christ and live a saved life. And we are judged. We are chastened of the Lord. That we should not be condemn 
with the world. You ain't got no business. And now you've been chasing, you ain't got no business being condemned with the world. You ain't got no business acting like the world. You ain't got no business living like the world. You ain't got no business with the conduct of the world. You ain't got no business on that. Your language has changed. Oh, tell us about your walk has changed. Your thoughts have changed. Your mind has changed. You not like the world. You're a representative of Christ. You're a representative of Christ now. You represent the Lord now. Wherefore, my brethren, when you come together to eat, tarry one for another. You see, he's talking about brothers here now. Tarry one for another. Come together. Support one another. Hmm. But then it says here in verse 34, and if any man hunger, anybody hungry here? Let him eat at home. Hmm. If any man hunger, let him eat at home, that you come not together unto condemnation. Uh huh. You don't you don't you don't you don't, you don't come together in condemnation. Uh. -uh. Cause you bring a bunch of people together and they're hungry. It's gonna be some condemnation. Huh? Eat at home. Huh? Ain't enough on this table to feed you. Huh? And you know you eat a whole chicken by yourself? This ain't enough. That cup ain't gonna get you. You have to be at home. Huh? Go to the car and open that bread you got in the car and eat out there and then come back here and take the Lord's Supper. But you cannot come to the table and expect to get full. It's not what it for. This is sacred. Huh? We're doing the Lord's body here. Praise God. So, if any man hungry, let him eat at home, that you come together unto, con uh, unto condemnation. And the first, and the rest, and the rest will I sit in order when he comes. The rest. You do what's right. The rest, he'll take care of that. He'll take care of that. I want you to see how that we can take communion unworthy and cause these things that come in our lives. And we don't know why it's happening and what's going on. We don't know the significance of it and, and know why serious this is. So I come to say this to you today, pray God, that you take it now on another understanding of what God say it should be like and the worthy of it. Communion. Just not communion. The institution was for, to, was to, was for, 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 for our spiritual promotion. For, uh, to, to our spiritual interest. To help us to be better. To be better. In our walk with when we take this, we pray that it goes into our body. Because this is the blood, the, 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 the blood, the, the blood which is of Jesus Christ and the broken body that we that He will wound it for our transgression. He will boot it for our iniquity and will chest our pieces of palm here. That we are healed. We are healed when we do this right here. That's why we got to do it orderly and right. Because when we take this, we're taking to believe what the word says it does. Whatever disease, I'm, I'm going to be healed today because this is the body. Because this is blood. Or we may hold a kidney disease, heart disease, lung disease. Come on, all kinds of disease. I'm going to be healed today. High blood pressure, I'm going to be healed today. When I take this right here, I'm going to be healed today. My God, when you walk away, you walk away and say, I'm healed. I just got healed. I just got healed today. Praise God. Uh, will y'all prepare the table, ushers? Uh, will y'all prepare the table? Praise God. Thank you, Jesus.
Hallelujah. Praise God. I want to say to all of you that's not saved today, wherever you may be, we want you today to praise God. If you're not saved, we want you to, I'm, I'm, I'm asking you, I'm asking you, I'm, I beseech you today to turn your life over to Jesus Christ on today. Give your life to Christ, pray God. Romans 10, 9 and 10 says, uh, say this, pray God. Confess with your mouth, believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died and God raised him from the dead. If you can do that prayer and believe that prayer, pray God, you can be saved right where you are today. It doesn't matter where you are, how far you're away, you can be saved on today. If you can believe that on today, praise God, praise God. And to you in the house, praise God, we have the opportunity for you to come to the altar on today, praise God. So we ask you, praise God, prepare yourselves, pray God, for the Lord's Supper on today.